Okay, this is the Kosari slow cooker, and it um, comes with a ceramic crock, and it's really thick and heavy duty. You just fit it down in the cooking base, and then um, it has a nice lid. It doesn't look like it would seal, but it does. You just got to center it on there, and it's, once it starts cooking, the pressure will suck it down, and you'll have to pull it pretty hard to get it up. One thing I've noticed, you'll want to not touch this once it's cooking because it gets pretty hot. You'll want to move it with this because this gets really hot. It does come with a, a user manual which has tips and tricks and what to do the first time you use it and what, what to do and not to do with the ceramic casserole and the glass lid, how to keep them from breaking. Um, helpful hints of when you how to cook things like to add like dairy products at the end it's got for people you know that have it slow cooked a lot that would be helpful it has a time conversion chart so if you something normally takes 30 minutes it would take seven hours on low five on medium and three on high um, has a few recipes pot roast chili baked beans chicken noodle soup um, so that's a pretty helpful book and um, basically to set this thing it's digital you click you plug it in click kick click cook mode and it starts out at six hours so there's low medium high and warm and medium is um, kind of new all the cro uh, slow cookers I've had just have low and high so that's kind of nice the only thing I don't like so let's get it back to low. It starts out at 6. When you click cook time, it only goes up. So there's no down button. So you just have to keep pressing. And if you want to go lower than 6 hours, you go all the way up to 10 and keep pressing. And then it'll start over at 30 minutes, hour. And it goes in increments of 30. So to do less than 6, you just have to keep pressing it. Go all the way up to 10 and then it'll start over at 30 and you go up from there and just to turn it off you just press stop so that's my only beef with this thing so far is I don't the time is kind of inconvenient that you have to keep clicking 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 where it won't go up and down um, and my my personal suggestion is to use a slow cooker liner I've had my other slow cooker for years and it's still the ceramic casserole looks like new because I've always used these bags. It's very hard to scrape that food off of those if you don't use these bags. And it will still do the suction. You just have to center it and then once it starts cooking it'll suck it down still. Um, but we're going to try it out. I'm going to try out a new recipe, gluten free uh, chicken and dumplings. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> and um, we'll let you see how much it cooked and how well it how well it done. Okay, so this has been cooking for about seven and a half hours. This is the and you want to use a a pot holder because this gets really hot. The handle, um, which is kind of scary, and this right here gets extremely hot. These are a little warm, so I would just use pot holders at all times, but it did a good job. There's my dumplings. Looks delicious. Everything cooked really even. I've already pulled the chicken out once and um, shredded it and put it back in there, so it cooked the chicken perfectly in about five and a half hours. I had three chicken breasts in there. But I can't wait to taste this. Everything looks like it cooked perfectly. The dumplings stay together. It's going to be delicious. But you can see it made a good amount. I could have put even more in there. But the rest, I just went by the recipe. Um, so it makes a good amount. This would feed several people.